My name is uh, is is Uwa uh, Bukola. Actually, Bukola is known as Edo Fafike. I am a media practitioner. I am also the national coordinator of Media Fafike Empowerment and Advocacy Foundation. And uh, I am the convener of Terminal Uma Mike for Ashwa Dibola Bintu. For those of you who have been saying to the what has it done in Lagos and he has not done anything, this and that. A lot of you continue to say what you don't know. I am here to bring all his accident you know, to your doorstep, to your door here, so that you need to sit down and watch him. Um, Tinubu led a great mission, the foundation started from 1999. Japan did very well, especially on education. Japan built estates and schools. Because at times we talk and we see what we don't know. Japan estates is a very good and beautiful estate for every Nigerian who will visit. Japan changed the school system, no more English schools. Japan built Lagos TV and radio. Of 1999, to date. The reason I am in support of Ashwari Bola Bintu, Jagaban of Universe, as they call him, I have seen a lot and um, I was able to, to understand the vision of clarity of purpose in life. We all need to know that to become a leader is not easy. Tinubu met IGR at 600 million per month. Today it is over 50 billion per month. He opened houses. He changed the Atlantic Ocean with Atlantic City. He built solid Lagos. Roads like Marina and Broad Street and Ade Tokumbo Ademola Street and Adeola Odeoku Street. The solid Oregon Road in Ojota, exteriors. Babatunde Fashola built Ikorodu Road. Isn't it? Because so many of you don't even know what he has done so far. I can continue on and on and on. Do you know the meaning of laying a foundation and a vision? Do you know the meaning of being a leader? So many of us that will be watching this video right now are not understand Tinubu vision in life. But we are letting you know that he is a great man. Tinubu is a hero. And we will continue to follow him. To those of you who are telling me, are you a politician or whatever? I am not a politician. But I am a woman of vision and I know what it takes to be a leader. Anything done by Baba Tunde Fashola, anything done by Ambode automatically go to Tinubu what? Vision. Thank God. Tinubu Vision and Foundation. Did you know how Baba Tunde Fashola emerged as known politician in this country? We didn't know. I'm sure many of you didn't know Baba Tunde Fashola when he came up. And he said he wants to become a governor. Hmm. Tinubu decided and said, I want Baba Tunde Fashola to become the governor of Lagos State. I'm sure a lot of us insisted then. Many people, oh, this and that. But I want to tell you, because he believed so much in him, he insisted that he would, he would succeed him, that Baba Tunde Fashola would succeed him. He was Sinungu CSO. Did you hear me? For those of you watching me, and for those of you guys that know nothing, that at times you come up, you talk, and you talk silly things about this uh, man. Sinungu hmm. guys did a lot. If Sinungu had not laid a good foundation, they wouldn't have followed it. Tinubu built Lagos. Tinubu guys 
knew nothing about. You know, at times, you know, why certain people guys? Because a lot of you will come up and say, oh, Timuku, oh, he, he didn't build anybody, he built. What it takes a leader is to transform your city, transform your environment, transform your government, and build people to continue your vision in life. Hmm. Timuku was the first governor that allowed an Igbo man to become Commissioner for Budget and Planning in Lagos State, Dr. Akabuizi. He was never a tribalism person. That's what he is. Everything you see about the Fashola and Abola did in Lagos, it was Tinubu vision. So what are we talking about? I want everyone that are watching me right away, whatever you're watching me for. I am here to just tell you, as a woman, that I know what it takes to be a woman of vision. And I know what it takes a leader. Tinubu has never been a tribalism person in life. Tinubu was the first governor that allowed Thanksgiving service yearly in Lagos. Tinubu returned missionary schools to the founders. Tinubu allowed Igbo man businesses to thrive in Lagos, Kombuta village. Alaba, Ladipo, they are all, they were all residential area. But at the point that Fashola emerged as a governor, they wanted to return it back. But he downloaded with them. He said, No, you have to meet these people. If you don't know what he has done, we know what he has done. Forget about being a, you know, talking about, oh, I mean, I am a politician. I am not, I have I've never been a politician. But I am a woman of clarity of purpose because I understand what it takes to have a vision in life. 1993, when Tinubu went on exile during Abacha time, they wanted to kill so many of our young people. While Tinubu was on exile, a lot of our young white guys, the young leaders, ran to Tinubu and they welcomed them. A lot of them. I don't know how the young white knows, and I don't know how the Nigerians know that. Tinubu was the only man who single-handedly raised three million dollars. I am a media practitioner and we did an investigation and everything I'm telling you today for all of you that are watching me all over the world. Mount Gilly the Yorubas, Tiaman Femi, Soso Kuto, and we never see so because leaders in a Yoki and Braze, Yimanyaki and Warata, you know, Kokwaye and Wairos in India, so you know how much support you. How many of the Igbos? Leader, have you seen on social media that they were using or they are using their mouth to pull down? Never, you never seen it. How many of the outsiders leader have you ever seen? It is only the young bass. So I am here to tell you about what this man has done, and I am telling you that we did an investigation. We know Tinubu single-handedly raised three million dollars. That is ninety-three because a lot of you were talking about oh where did they get money from whatever. He was what an accountant general and he worked with Ezra Do you know what it takes? A very brilliant man. The three million dollars we are talking about, the late Dene Fernandez gave him one million dollars. On him, he raised two million dollars to sustain the vision of Nadeko so that the Yorubas will never, you understand, be under a slave. They did everything they could to sustain the vision of what Nadeko. And Tinubu was the only man. Doing all this and you know, raising all these funds, you don't even know. You don't know what it takes to be a leader. You don't know what the leader has done. The only thing the you people say is to be coming and to be talking, oh, this and that. And I, I, I am so sure many of you that are on social media, many of the you youth that doesn't know much about Tinubu, many of you, 80% of you, passed through Tinubu free education. Actually, you know, since 1999 up to date. So what we are talking about is that this is a man that we all know. This is a man that we should give every support. I am standing right now and I am talking about this man, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And my voice goes to all the women in Nigeria and in abroad that we should get up. My voice goes to all the youths that know the power of clarity of vision in life and clarity of. Purpose. I am talking to every Nigerian 
that understand what leadership means. I am talking about all Nigerians, you understand, that knows that the only man that we need is Bola and men. I should want you to know. I have, I, have, I have never been a politician, but I am a woman of vision. I am a woman of clarity of purpose. I understand what it takes to be a leader because I am being it. I am being there, I am going through it now, and I know the softness that it takes someone to be a leader. During answers, we all came, we came out, I did I, I, I was among them, I protested, we all did. We all wanted free life. But in the long run, after the old saga, we discovered that Exodus was even planned to demoralize the vision of the world. So I am appealing to all of us right away, wherever you are, that we need this man. We need to give him support. We need to support him. The Yorubas, the youth. I am so surprised that some of my or my evil friends who are giving Tinubu support. Do you know that the letter evil, the educated ones, you know, among the other tribes, know the value of who Tinubu is? And I can tell you that I'm so sure that many of the people who understand what it takes to be a leader will surely vote for him. I stand to appeal to every one of us watching this video around the globe. Please let us give him his support. Tinubu, I stand with you. And I know that 50 million of women stand with you. I will stand by you and I will vote for you. Thank you so much.